In the description down below, you are going to find a link that will bring you to my blog post for this tutorial. In that blog post, you are going to find a free PDF download so that you can download all of the different templates for all of the different versions that I am going to walk you through in this tutorial. So in this version, this is the sewing version. You've got yourself a small, a medium, and a large, but in my no sew version, I have an extra small, and then your small, medium, and large, as well as a circle, but wait, there's also an adorable teddy bear that you can do. So let's jump on in. We'll start with the no sew and then move on. For your no sew version, what I recommend is you can buy some cork. Cork is a great product for this type of project. You can also buy some thicker felt and you can even buy some faux leather. Another thing that you need to know is that you need snaps. Now you can have different types of snaps. You can do plastic snaps, which I highly recommend. These are my favorite snaps. I'm going to link them in the description down below. But if you have these, this is a five claw clamp system. I recommend that you don't use these for thicker products like cork or faux leather. These will probably work with your felt and they will definitely work with the sewing variety. So step one will be downloading the PDF that I have linked in my blog post, which is linked in the description down below. Then you will cut out the size template that you want to make. Then it's time to trace your template onto the back of whatever product you've chosen to use, whether that is your faux leather or your cork or your felt, whatever it is, just trace along the back and then you can cut out that template. Once I've cut out my template, I do like both sides to be very symmetrical. So in this case, I've folded my cork in half and then I'm just trimming up those corners so that they match up nicely. Then it's time to create the hole for your snap. So my plastic snap set came with this awl that I'm just pushing through the center. I have my cork folded still so that my holes match on either side before I'm going to add the snaps. Now I have a whole tutorial on how to work with different snap systems. So I'm going to have that linked in the description down below if you want more detail on how to add these snaps. And just like that, you are done making a cord wrangler. All right, before jumping into the teddy bears, I'm going to quickly run you through how you can do the sewing option. I like the sewing option because it's a great way to use up your scraps. So once again, grab the PDF that I have linked in my blog post, print that out, and then choose the template size that you want to make. Now, because we are going to be sewing this, the templates will look larger than what they're going to end up being. So lay your fabric right sides together, lay the template that you've chosen on top of that, pin it in place, and then cut out your template. But when you are cutting out your template, there is a section on that template that I created, and it's about a one and a half to two inch section and I suggest that you cut a little bit away from the template and give yourself a little bit of extra fabric right in that two inch spot. Then remove the template and sew a quarter inch seam allowance around the entire project, starting and stopping with the back stitch and leaving that two inch section open. So do not sew across. Another thing that you can do when you get to the corners to pivot is just as soon as you get to that corner, stop, pivot a little bit, do two stitches on an angle, and then pivot again, and then you can keep sewing straight. That will allow you to have a bit more of a curved corner on your cord wrangler. Then reach on in and turn your project right side out. And I find using a chopstick is helpful just to gently push out all of those edges before tucking that extra fabric in and then giving it a nice press so it's nice and flat. Then you are going to sew an eighth of an inch seam allowance around the entire project, starting and stopping with the back stitch and leaving no openings. Once you've done this, then it's similar to our last version, fold this fabric piece in half, use that all and push a hole exactly where you want your snaps to be, and then install your snaps. 
and you've officially made a cord wrangler with fabric. I love these and I am planning on putting these in my boys stockings for Christmas as I think that they will get plenty of use out of them. Before we move on into the next little tutorial, I just want to ask if you're appreciating this tutorial, please hit that thumbs up button because that lets YouTube know that this is a good tutorial to share with others. And of course, hit subscribe if you don't want to lose me on YouTube. Now, the biggest thing that you need to know about the teddy bear option are the eyes. So I have two templates. The one template is this little miniature here and there is only one spot to put the eyes. You can do the plastic buttons but as you can see in this one here I've done the plastic buttons and those eyes are just a little bit bigger. So if you do have the right press that can do the smaller eyes I recommend that for the small teddy bear. So let's jump on in and I'll walk you through how to do the teddy bear. Now I just love an adorable project. So this one had to be turned into a little teddy bear. So cut out that teddy bear template. Now this project will not work with fabric. So you've got to pull out that cork or faux leather or thicker felt like we did in the first tutorial. And then you are going to fold it in half. Then take your teddy bear template and line up that fold line along the fold you've just created and then pin it in place before cutting it out. Now, as you can see, I am showing you with the larger teddy bear template and on the larger teddy bear template, there are two different locations for the eyes where you can use your awl and put your holes. So it's up to you to decide where you want your snaps to be. Of course, the closer to your fabric fold, then the smaller it will be. So it will be able to hold smaller cords. And if you put the eyes further out, then it will hold thicker cords. And then once again, add the snaps where you have placed those holes. I have linked a tutorial in the description down below if you want more details on how to add snaps. And just like that, you have made some adorable teddy bear cord wranglers. What is my favorite size, I might hear you ask? My favorite is the extra small in the no sew option, mainly because I made a whole bunch of these in bulk, so I didn't want to do the sewing option because that can be a bit tedious if you're making a lot of them. And I did the extra small because I have so many small cords in my cords drawer in my office. And of course, I really loved the teddy bears as well. Let me know what you enjoyed making, which ones were your favorite and why in the comments down below. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.